Overall Equipment Effectiveness, or OEE, is a manufacturing metric used to determine the productivity of your factory or machinery. OEE is comprised of three separate but measurable components, availability, performance, and quality. They are multiplied together to calculate your OEE. In this video, we will be focusing on how to calculate performance. The performance factor can be calculated by dividing gross production time by net operating time. Gross production time is defined as planned cycle time per unit times the total number of units produced. A performance deviation can have many causes, such as cycle time losses, shortfalls in output, first patterns, introduction of new associates, and inadequate materials. Let's now look at an example where inadequate materials cause the performance factor of a product line to be lower than desired. The operator in the sewing department of Company A is in charge of mechanically placing thread into a large sewing machine. Unfortunately, the thread that was delivered to the department is very low quality and continuously rips inside the machine. As a result, the operator must continuously stop the machine to re-thread the needle inside. For this example, let's assume the planned cycle time per unit is 2 minutes. The operator produces 80 units with a net operating time of 180 minutes. Remember, the performance factor is calculated as planned cycle time per unit multiplied by units produced divided by net operating time. Now we plug in the given data to the basic formula. We calculate the factor's numerator as 160 and the denominator is 180. Therefore, the performance factor is equal to 88.89%. In this example, inadequate materials caused the deviation, which led to a decrease in output. This resulted in a low performance factor and thus also reduced the company's overall equipment effectiveness. In the second example, we will assume that the thread quality is fine. However, there is a new operator assigned to the machine. Since the operator is new to his position, he is not fully trained and is unaware of the company's production standards. Therefore, he inputs thread into the machine slower than usual, so during his shift, the equipment is underproducing. In this example, let's assume cycle time per unit is still 2 minutes and net operating time is 180 minutes. But the slower new operator produces only 65 units during the shift. Again, the formula for the performance factor is cycle time per unit multiplied by units produced divided by net operating time. Using the given data for the new operator, we calculate the factor's numerator as 130 and the denominator as 180. Thus, the performance factor is 72.22%. This was an example of an operator-based deviation that decreased output. As a result, the performance factor was lowered and therefore, the company's overall equipment effectiveness was reduced.